Sell the Trend is a really powerful platform for doing e-commerce, whether it's dropshipping, Amazon FBA, or anything else. In this video, you're going to learn from Rush, an expert at Sell the Trend, who's going to show you how you can customize variations and options for a product before you push it to your store. Watch this video all the way to the end because it's going to show you how to do that step by step. For best results, Rush recommends actually trying out Sell the Trend using their free trial and following along with what's being taught. So for your convenience, I've included a link to Sell the Trend. You can try it out completely for free. It's in the description below. In today's video, we are going to talk about customizing variations and options for a product before we push it to our store. Hey, this is Rush. So this is our push to store page. Here we have uh, the images that we already pre-selected, the ones that we want to add to uh, this product. We have our content here on the left. Uh, we have the price that we're going to sell this product at set up here. And we have our supplier right here in the fulfillment source section uh, for this product that will allow us to fulfill an order. Once we get an order for this product on our store, this will be the, uh, the supplier that will fulfill the order uh, on our behalf. So now let us look at how to edit all the different variations. As you can see here, this product has 20 different variants, different options, different, different, uh, uh, different uh, options for this product. And we are going to be able to now edit these variations so we can not, not only customize the different options that this product has, but as well as the shipping, uh, as well as uh, the different um, uh, sizes, if a product has sizes or uh, the different prices that we're gonna be uh, selling this product at. So let's click on this edit variance button. And this here now is comes up uh, all the different variations that this product has. So let's go through it uh, from top to bottom and see exactly what this allows us to do. So right here at the top, we can see all the different variations that this product has. So you can see all the different uh, sizes here, uh, as well as we can see uh, where this product will ship from. So you can see here that we have size, we have ships from, and we have the cost. And different products will have different variations. Some products might not have a ships from. Uh, some product will have color here instead of size. It will have, um, you know, weight and, you know, different things. So this uh, particular product has a size option as well as a shipping from option. So let us go through this and see how we're going to uh, customize this uh, to, so we can only add the options that we really care about uh, for this product. So right off the bat, for example, uh, I see that this product ships from China, United States, Spain, France, and we can see them all here at the top. So for example, for me, for my store, I only want to offer a shipping from the US and China. So let's right off the bat, get rid of uh, some of these options that we are not interested in. So let's click on Spain. And when we click on Spain, uh, all the different Spain variations will get selected. So, you know, this size Spain, um, this size uh, from Spain, these are all the different variations. They all get selected and let us delete them. Click on delete button. Sure, you want to delete them? Yes, please. Okay, so now all the different uh, Spain variations are gone. You can see they're no longer in the list and they don't show up at the top anymore. So let's get rid of France in the same way. Click on France, all the different France variations will get highlighted. Let's click on delete and there, there it goes. Okay, so now we are uh, left with China and United States. So another thing that we can do on this page is we can change uh, the name uh, that we are that that some of these uh, options will have to customize the way we want it. For example, I'm going to leave the sizes alone because you know they're pretty descriptive, and I don't want to change the uh, the different sizes. But uh, I don't want to um, um, you know show my customers that this product, for example, ships from China. Uh, so it's easy for me to change that by uh, changing this variation, uh, uh, this option name here, and I will change it to. Um, international right there international warehouse so i typed that earlier that's why it, it shows up here international warehouse so what i can do here is we can grab that and we can go in here and do the same thing i mean i can type that again here i can type international warehouse again but you know with with, with chrome here it'll automatically fill it in for me same thing here international warehouse so just i'm only changing the ones that say china to international warehouse uh, and china to international warehouse now this is and you can see here, all the different instances here of China are gone. And all I'm left with is United States and International Warehouse. Now, I can call it anything I want. I can call it uh, International Location. I can call it uh, Universal Warehouse. I can call it whatever I want to call it uh, outside of the US, you know, whatever. Uh, and that's how it's going to show up for my customers. So when they look at the ship, uh, ships from uh, drop down uh, on, my, on my store, it's going to say International Warehouse. So now I've changed that to International Warehouse. 
for the United States, I can uh, leave it to United States or I can call it um, local warehouse if I want to. So now we have United States, we have international warehouse, we have all our options here set the way I like them. Now let's move on to uh, the price that we're gonna be uh, uh, charging uh, for this item. So right away here, we can look at the profit uh, margin, it's already being automatically calculated for us based on the cost of the product. So this is the cost right here. $17 is the cost of this, this item, uh, what we're planning on selling it for. And it will automatically get here a, a profit calculation uh, for this, as well as you can see the inventory here. So let us mess around with this number a little bit. Let's say we want to um, see exactly how much is this going to really cost us uh, when we add shipping to this, because this product might have actual uh, shipping cost. Uh, not all products ship for free, and some products will have different shipping costs. So. We want to see visually see what is that going to do to our profit margin. So we can click on this button right here where it says country, and that will open up uh, all the different uh, uh, different uh, shipping methods that are available. So for example, so let's say we are shipping to France, for example, right? So we click on France here, and for this product, the seller shipping method is free, and it is uh, gives you the estimated delivery. Uh, but also you can see all the different shipping options. For example, let's say it's a, a bit of a higher price product and you don't mind paying a little bit more shipping for faster shipping times, you can select anything here. Now, the only thing that that's gonna do is it will only visually show you uh, what that's gonna do to your profit margin. So you can kind of estimate saying, hey, if I have friends, a lot of friends, customers, uh, I know I wanna ship using EMS when it comes down to the fulfillment section, uh, then I can kind of put that in. Let's see, look at that here and see what happens. So as you can see here, for different variants, the price now looks different. So for some of these variants here, we are still gonna be making money, not a lot, but we are still gonna be making some money. But for some of these other variants, if we decide to ship using this more expensive shipping method, EMS, uh, then we're gonna be losing money on these. So let's say you wanna say you wanna offer uh, this the shipping option, which is kind of expensive uh, to, to your customers, uh, you can then decide to raise these prices. You can decide to raise these prices. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let's go back here to, um, the, the, the sh let's go back here to the United States, for example. United States, uh, and let's see here. Uh, let's say you wanted to offer AliExpress standard shipping. I just want something a bit more reasonable. AliExpress standard shipping. So you can see here that the profit margin now has, now we're back in the green because the shipping is only $4.42. So now we know we're still in the green, but let's say, you know what? I do like the fact that we're in the green, and I know that this is the, co the cost of the product, but I don't mind making a little bit less money by offering it for a little bit cheaper price. And so let us change these prices here uh, to reflect to reflect that. So we have a few options here of how to change these prices. Now we can do it in two ways. We can do it by setting a brand new value for this. So if I click on set brand new value and say, let's say, um, you know, uh, $50. As you can see here, the profit margin went down a little bit, right? We might actually be losing money here on a couple of items that are a lot higher priced on these variations that are a little higher priced. Uh, but uh, we are, uh, now we've set that price to $50 for every single one of these different variations. See, they're all now set at $50. So we don't usually wanna do that for uh, different products that have a lot of different fluctuation in cost. So right here, this, this variation here, is $17, this variation is $17, but this one is $24. So what usually we would like to do is we wanna set a multiplier value uh, for how we calculate our price, our price rules here. So let's click on multiply by and let's put five. So what that's gonna do is gonna take the cost, which is $17, it's gonna multiply it by five and it's give us the final result here. So $17 times five, 65, obviously we want it to go lower, not higher. So let us do that again. So let's set a, a new a multiply by value. Let's say you wanna do two instead of five here. So here we go. So now the, the, we're selling this item for a lot uh, less money. So it might be more attractive to the customer, but we're not making as much money uh, on it uh, uh, in terms of profit with our U.S. shipping. So let's say, you know what, we're going to offer our uh, the regular shipping price here, this free shipping from the seller. So let's click on that again. And now with uh, this free shipping, let's look at our profit margins again. Okay, we're back to $17. It's decent. But this right now gives you flexibility because now you're able to see exactly what the cost is, what the different potential shipping options and shipping costs that you have, 
and then how that impacts your profit margins uh, and your compare by price. So the compare by price is, uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's just what is the original price before it gets deducted, before it gets slashed. This price will appear as if it is the original price of the item, uh, but this will be the actual price that they will pay. So now we have uh, set up uh, our pricing. We decided that these are the kind of pricing that we want to uh, uh, stick with, uh, and we're happy with everything. We, we've changed uh, all the different uh, shipping from locations to our new new naming convention, uh, and we have our, our, uh, our shipping uh, price here that we've decided on, and now we are ready to uh, confirm changes. So once we're happy with everything, we click on confirm changes here, and um, that's it, we're done. So now you'll see that this is uh, now grayed out. So what that means is that these numbers here are no longer uh, being applied. What's actually applied in terms of the price is what we set up in our variance right here. So these are the actual numbers uh, that we've set up in our uh, variance section. So there's one more thing here that I want uh, to, to point out to. So let's click on this shipping here uh, option again. So this is the country that we are shipping to, and you're gonna get here some uh, uh, estimated delivery and estimated cost to ship to that country. So now these shipping prices are only uh, showing you shipping prices from uh, China. So in a situation like what we have over here, where we have actually United States shipping available, so this product will ship from a United States warehouse, we you don't see these prices reflected in this in, in this view here. This is straight just for um, the prices that you can see as if you are shipping from China. So you'll be able to see all the US uh, shipping prices uh, in the fulfillment section, as, as you can see in, in our fulfillment uh, uh, video, uh, you'll be able to see exactly what those shipping prices and the ship estimated shipping times um, for products that are shipping from the US, which this product will ship from the US and will ship also from China. So let's go back here, let's confirm these changes again, and let us uh, push this product to our store. Okay, so let us see the way it looks on our store. Let's click on view. And here it is. Uh, so now we have uh, the images that we specified, we have uh, the content that we specified for this product, and now we also have the options that we specified. So we have all the different options here, uh, as well as the ships from. So the ships from here, we've changed it to International Warehouse, so now we can see that it says uh, ships from International Warehouse or United States, uh, and all the different options that we specified, and as well as all the different prices. Uh, that's what that we specified for all the different variations, and we are ready to go. Um, so that's it. That's how you specify uh, different variations, how you edit the variations, how you specify the prices that you want to sell a particular product. And now you have a lot more control uh, over exactly how you want to price items before you push them to your store. So there's the video. I hope you found that useful. If you want to get started with the Solve the Trend, you can use the link in the description below and try it out completely for free. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.